There are certain features that have come with Android Pie Beta, but there are certain features which are not there. Let's check on everything, okay? Hey guys, I'm Avil back again with another video. This time it is about this Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2. And in this video, I'm going to talk about all the new features that have come to this device with Android Pie. This is the beta version now, but still we can enjoy those features, the certain features I would say. In this video, I'll be talking about the features which are there and which are not. This is because I have this Nokia 5.1 Plus, which is an Android One device, and there are certain features that this device is having which are not there, so we'll be checking on that. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button, and if you have already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. And if you use stock Android phones, then this is a channel that you can follow to know more about your phones. So let's get started. The first thing is that if you haven't downloaded the setup, and this is because Asus is not providing this update through OTA so that's the reason that we have to do it manually but it's very simple you just have to go to this website this is the Asus beta testing beta testing website so you just have to go there the link is there in the description and agree and proceed if you want to read certain things you should read to know more about it okay then proceed after that you will get this form what do you have to do you have to fill in all the information and after that proceed after you proceed uh, you will get the window where you have three servers I can't show you that now because I have already downloaded the setup uh, and that's why I cannot do it again okay the registration is already done so I have already installed the update so it's very simple you just have to fill in this form okay and a certain information like um, your serial number your IMEI number you have to fill in and then just proceed after that as I said you will get the window where three servers will be there and you can download the setup the zip file from any one of these three servers the first server didn't work for me so I tried with the third one and it worked so after you download that setup you know the setup file what you have to do you just go to in a files this is a really very important thing okay so when you download the file it will be there under downloads what you have to do you have to actually move this you know this uh, setup file to your internal storage to do that select that and tap here and then move okay then tap here and uh, here you can see that this is the internal storage so you have to tap here and the file will be moved there now if you can't see this option here what you have to do Suppose it is, if it is hidden, then it will show you like this. Tap here, show internal storage, and then it will be there. Now it is hidden. Let me show you that. Show internal storage. Done. Okay, so it's very simple. After that, uh, you should get this notification. Let me show you that. This notification will be there. System update file detected. And if you can't see this, if it, it is not there, what you have to do, you just have to restart the phone and then it is done you will get this and you have to tap here and then this one select update package and then ok so within 20 to 30 minutes your setup will be completed and the update will be done that's it very simple so all you have to do you have to download the setup and then install it that's it now what are the new features that we have actually got now right this is the question the very first thing that you would observe there is a minor you know user interface change in the setting menu and plus this quick action center so another thing is that I'll tell you in detail about that another thing that I have observed is that uh, on the top part this uh, you know the edges are better aligned now but not we can't say the same for this one okay the bottom part it's not that properly aligned okay when you play any video then you will observe that but it's fine you know it's better than the previous version now the next thing is that this quick accent center now this is a dark theme that we are getting and the icons are a bit different now okay the shapes are different now if you want to get this dark theme what do you have to do go to settings and then display advanced and there you have this option called uh, device theme okay so this is the thing that you have to tap here 
device theme and you can see that three options are there you know light dark and automatic based on the wallpaper so i've selected the dark option this is something that i like but the limitation is that still the main setting menu is still white so it doesn't change the overall you know theme it is just this notification part and uh, you can change this dialer also to black that is something that you can do let me show you how to do it um, here then here okay then settings then you have this display option and this is dark option okay so this is something that you can change so it is working fine not a problem now next thing is actually this is something which is missing the gesture navigation let me show you that if you check this one this Nokia you know 5.1 plus let me show you that here you can see that this is the gesture navigation that we have okay let me show you that how does it work suppose if I open the dialer there is this one now suppose any other map news okay so we swipe it up like this the preview menu is like this and you can drag it like this okay so this setup is not there this this gesture navigation is missing on this device now let me show you where you can find it if you have nokia one uh, nokia 5.1 plus uh go to you know system and there you have this gestures and this is the option swipe up on home button but this feature is not there if you go to settings on this device and then system okay we have gestures but just the default gestures that we get normally with the SUs, you know ui so that is something that uh, is missing and uh, it is a really cool feature i believe that in the next update they should uh, you know include this next thing is it's a something it's something that which is there in, on this device too that is the manual rotation of the screen now what you can do if you turn off this auto rotate option then you can manually rotate the screen how does it work let me show you suppose uh, let me let me do one thing suppose setting okay now let me rotate the screen like this now you can see that here this is the icon so tap here and it will rotate the screen same way if you do it hold it like this tap here and it will rotate so this is one thing which is a typical feature of android pi and it is there on this device so it is a really, really good thing next thing is about the youtube notch support so the youtube app will support notch playback let me show you that youtube let me play one of my own videos let me show you that suppose this one okay now uh, the ads are really annoying let me close it i don't want to watch any ad now okay so with this one okay now you just tap here and stretch it stretch it like this so you can see that it is actually covering the whole notch area and it is something that is uh, we've been waiting for on the stock android devices so now you can watch your youtube videos with full notch playback support but what about the local videos yes you can watch your local videos also so to know that click on this card and you can watch that video and know how to play your local videos with this full notch support okay next thing is adaptive brightness okay this is a feature of android pi so to know that go to display then adaptive brightness Okay, if you turn this on, then it will automatically adjust the screen brightness based on the environment. Okay, but in my opinion, this is not done properly on this device because the optimization is not there. Because you can see that if I uh, turn this on, okay, you wait, there is no change. Okay, so you have to manually adjust it. So the feature is there, but it is not working properly. So I hope that the optimization will be done very soon. And the next thing which is not there, this is another feature that is called adaptive battery. So that is missing here. Let me show you that. You can see it is missing. No adaptive battery feature. Now I can show you that on this device. Let me show you that. Go to battery. And this one 
So this is the feature which is available with Android Pie, but Asus hasn't included that. So what does it do actually? It optimizes your you know, battery drain uh, you know, through different apps and it restricts certain apps to, you know, from, I would say, draining your battery. So it improves the battery life and the backup, okay? But yes, uh, we don't have to worry because normally the battery backup is really good on this device without the adaptive battery feature. The next thing is, you know, digital well-being, okay? This is something uh, they should have included, but it is not there. If you go to settings, it is not there. It is not there but if you check here it is there settings and digital well-being to know more about this feature uh, you just click on this card and I have actually done a video on this all the features were explained so you can watch that video uh, in, in a nutshell I can say that this is one um, initiative that uh, Google or Android has taken to you know help us to control our smartphone use and so that we can use a smartphone productively you know not unnecessary no us unnecessary uh, you should be uh, there to spoil our time and you know you know develop bad habits so I believe this will help us to control our smartphone uses so just watch that video and uh, you know that will help you to know more about this feature now I tried to download this um, app let me show you that if you go to Google and uh, if you search let me show you that new tab Google digital well-being okay now if I try to install this app here install because it is not there on the Play Store it doesn't support that your device isn't compatible with this version and this uh, digital well-being is still in a beta version so that's the reason maybe they haven't included this but uh, yes you can download the APK from I believe from any XDA developer website and if I find that uh, APK then I will uh, you know leave you the link in the description so you can download that and as I said uh, if you want to know more about the digital well-being features then watch that video that I've done with the uh, Nokia 6.1 plus so these are the things which are there on this device and there is one thing that is a hidden thing I would say suppose let me show you the quick access okay if you swipe it down and tap on this battery then you can go directly to the battery menu okay another thing if you swipe it down and then tap on this clock then you can get this clock menu so this is uh, some quick access uh, options are there then you can try and the next thing is it is about one thing which is not for the normal use but you can use it on this device because the screen size is really big and sometimes it becomes really difficult to use it single hand okay single single hand use is not that easy so you can use that feature that is called accessibility menu where you can find it go to accessibility okay there you have this option accessibility menu and turn this on okay and then you can see another icon here button here if you tap here certain you know features will be here you can access this like you can take screenshots you can log the screen you can turn off the phone you can you know go to jump to quick settings notifications volume assistant so th this will help you to use it sing you know single hand use will be you know helped here so this is something that you can use and it was not there with audio another thing that if you press the power button here we have only three options right but let me show you that it is also running Pi, right? If you press it, there are a lot of options are there. Like, you know, power off, restart, it is there also. Lockdown option is there. And this one is new. That is screenshot. And screenshot is not there. But this option, lockdown option is there. But it is not working. Let me show you that. Settings. And if you go to security and locations, lock screen preferences, this is the option. Show lockdown options. And what is the use of this if you turn this on it should be there if you press the power button but it is not there and what is the use of that let me show you because it is not having that I can show you it here now if you press it so you get this option right lockdown 
and if you turn this on what happens your fingerprint scanner will not work let me show you look it is not working right so this is the use of this because you can protect your phone like this so you know this feature is there but is it, it is not working so i don't know why they haven't uh, you know activated that or it is a bug i don't know now these are the features that have come to this device with android pie and uh, there are two bugs that i have observed it's that you know this alignment of the ages and plus uh, the heating heating is a bit concerned now because i haven't observed any kind of heating before but after the update i found that if you record videos uh, this portion it it it, it hits up a lot okay so this is something is which is uh, actually a matter of concern now but if you have observed this uh, please report it you know to asus and their twitter handle because this is something that all the users should do whenever you face any problem please please report it so that it, they can actually fix it. okay the issues the problems that we are facing now that's it guys if you like this video and if you think that this will help you then do hit the subscribe button and uh, share it with your friends and help me to build my channel so till the next video cheers